many, especially investment advisors, right? Maybe maybe less life insurance professionals, but basically anybody who works in the financial market would have a good understanding of who Harry Markowitz is, right? He's you know essentially the the father of the modern portfolio theory, right? And 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 really coined the concept of this diversification in portfolio in portfolios. And we we use this so quickly for our investment portfolios and making sure you have a good you know combination of stocks, bonds, maybe some alternatives, commodities, whatever the case may be in order to build out that diversified portfolio of investments. But I think that this really translates well to the to the concept of life insurance planning as well, right? So so often one life insurance isn't looked at as, you know, a viable asset in the in the greater diversification of portfolio, which I think is, you know, potentially an oversight and there's an allocation that's worthwhile on the life insurance product. But beyond that, and, you know, perhaps from the, the perspective of simplicity or whatever the case may be, we don't diversify within the life insurance portfolio, right? It's which product, you know, illustrates the best, essentially, and that's the product that gets chosen, which is often, you guessed it, par whole life insurance, right, that illustrates with these nice big growth numbers. But ultimately, those numbers are not guaranteed. You know, there is there is nothing to say that what was illustrated is what's going to be achieved. And when you're building out a portfolio of life insurance, I think it's a strategic approach to make sure that you're allocating to multiple different products, right? Make sure you have some term insurance in the mix, just like you would have cash in your investment portfolio to keep your powder dry, right? Have some guaranteed whole life insurance in the mix because that's going to be more equivalent to your bond structure. We have some guarantees. It doesn't have as much of the potential growth uh, side of things, but we have a guarantee there on around the growth in the contract. And then allocate to your participating whole life insurance as well. That's comparable to your equities, right? Give you more of the upside in the in the greater portfolio as well. Um, and, and even beyond that, as you get into larger cases, Maybe it's worth diversifying into multiple par policies, right? Because who am I to say that Manulife, Canada Life, Sun Life are going to perform the best long term? I have to assume they're all going to perform about the same on the investment management side, uh, much like comparing a mutual fund. So why not diversify across a couple different products, right? If the if the case makes sense. So I think that this is a, a great quote to remember that it's not always, you know, take the simplest road. That's not our job for the clients. It's, you know, make sure you're building out a proper diversified portfolio of a product that keeps things nimble and gives clients lots of on ramps and off ramps because life is not linear, definitely not as linear as your Excel spreadsheet.